right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is called Dear Mr. MacArthur. If you've been watching the headlines over the last couple of years, you may have noticed the incredible surge of interest in affirming homosexuality. Whether it's at the heart of a religious scandal, political corruption, rad radical legislation, or the redefinition of marriage, homosexual interests have come to characterize America. That's an indication of the success of the gay agenda. Written by John MacArthur, 2014. Dear Mr. MacArthur, we are so sorry that you feel threatened about the gay agenda. It's only natural that you should feel uncomfortable, just as it's unnatural to sodomize and love. We will try to stop it, just like you asked. But first, just to make sure you have your facts straight, let us tell you more about the gay agenda. Mm. The gay agenda is hiding for 16 years, a secret that keeps clawing at your skin, fighting to come out. The gay agenda is changing in the bathroom before Fayette, so your peers won't notice your wandering eye. The gay agenda is being kicked out of your house because you brought your boyfriend home to your parents last night for the first time, and they didn't like it. The gay agenda is having no friends. You told them last night that you liked the popular boy for four years, and he just found out. The gay agenda is hating yourself, just like everybody else does. The gay agenda is not waking up tomorrow because you found the bottle of pills labeled homophobia and took every single one, swallowing them all at once. We are sorry, Mr. MacArthur, that the gays... We are sorry, Mr. MacArthur, that the gay agenda is affecting your life because it sure as hell isn't affecting the rest of ours. When you say Leviticus 18.22 and we scream back Genesis 2.16 for the same text that reads, My pink triangle is an abomination, reads to that male dominance is holy, all because Eve ate that apple. Don't let a beautiful doctrine meant to spread love be a hypocrite just like you and me. And I? I am a person who just happens to wear a label faggot painted across their chest. And the clock ticks backwards to when this word was a missile. And the clock ticks forwards to when this word is a missile used by both the right wings and the liberals both to drop bombs of explosive hate, leaving scars on your arms and bloodstains on my chest. We are sorry, Mr. MacArthur, that the part of the gay agenda is having heterosexuals support them to make them homecoming king just to prove a point. We are sorry, Mr. MacArthur, that the only reason gays want rights is because they were promised to them in our Constitution. It's okay for you, though, because there's a Nazi ruler down in North Carolina picketing signs saying, burn the fags and thank God for dead soldiers. But the sad thing is, the flag sympathizes more with this bigot than with my happiness and love. What the hypocrites, the poets, the misogynists, and the lawyers don't understand is that my sexuality is not a closet. It is not a flower, it is not a metaphor, and it is not a choice. I stand here proud of who I am, but I refuse to stand here and be proud of a country which only stands for freedom, that refuses to let a rainbow brighten everything in their day. Let me tell you! My chest is still bleeding. It's all right, Mr. MacArthur, that you see, it's only fair that the gay agenda be abolished. It's only fair that 17-year-old Susie spend the rest of her days paralyzed because her parents sent her to electric convulsion therapy that didn't go so well so that she could be fixed. It's only fair that four-year-old Zachary down in Oregon be killed by his mother because he acted like a faggot. Maybe it's true, Mr. MacArthur, that you prefer all the gays to be dead in the first place. The word fair is not in our vocabulary. It is muttered by wealthy fundamentalists looking for a good tax break. It is painted over the flag like steam over a frostbite. It is resonated off the empty lockers of millions of high schoolers who kill themselves because they are ostracized for loving the people they love. You say that this is fair, this is fair, this is fair, because you don't have to deal with the same shit that I deal with every single day. So our apologies, Mr. MacArthur. It seems that what you and your people call the gay agenda the rest of us call freedom to love. For the above reasons, we are unable to invoice your request. If you have a further request that needs inquiries or assistance that doesn't infringe on the rights of millions of people, please write us back. Sincerely yours, Equality.